Hey guys, it's Old Brim. We're here at Best Buffet in Huntington, New York, right on Route 110. Now, this happens to be, from what I'm told, one of the biggest and best buffets that you've ever been to, ever. I mean, the place inside just looks tremendous. So we're gonna go inside, we're gonna find out what's brewing for you. Let's pop in there. all you food hounds out there. This is going to be the perfect start to what I believe is going to be a perfect meal. This is actually homemade green tea. Homemade Japanese green tea. And I hear this stuff is the best. So we're going to start off with a little bit of uh, this stuff right here. I have to pour for eight times as well. You have the green tea. That's pretty good. It's very good. Actually, it tastes a little bit like green tea with a little bit of soup flavor in it. It's just weird. It's, it's very different. You guys have to try it. Pizza, why don't you give it a shot? Come by. Oh, now that's some good green tea. You know, Brim was mentioning how it has that like weird flavor. I just don't think he's really used to different teas. Because I'm going to show you what that flavor is. What would you say that was called? What would you call it? You said it was kind of like uh, soupy, like wonton. That was actually a very ricey flavor. You see here, those little things floating around. I recognize those from another spot that we went to in the city with Bumblefoot. And uh, you can actually eat those. And they're not, they're not like really tasty. Tasty, but they're not, it's like an acquired taste, like it's kind of like a, like a rice. So that's actually what Brim was tasting in here. This is some authentic, delicious green tea. Perfect for the winter time, I'm loving this. Let's get, I got a channel lush. <laughs> Sharkfish with teriyaki sauce. Sharkfish? Are you about to eat a shark? Sharkfish with teriyaki sauce. We're gonna give that a try. That shark right there. This is a garlic, garlic chicken. This is orange chicken. This is sesame chicken. This is pork chop. This is ribs. Oh, we gotta love the ribs. This is a Korean. Korean uh, noodles, and this is duck. From what we're told, the duck here is good, but he said dinner time, the Peking duck is fantastic. So we're gonna have to make sure to come back sometime at night as well. So let's give a shot. You know what? You make a good rib. You're gonna make old Brim happy. So let's let's give this a shot right here. It's fantastic. Sweet, lightly smoky. Done very well. Normally I like my ribs cut really, really small and well, well done. But these, my friends, are fantastic. I'm going to partake in another piece. So being that I'm apparently this obscure character, I don't know where Brim gets that from, but I do like weird foods. And, well, I say weird because I'm not used to them, but I saw shark fish. Brim had to get that... I have to know what this tastes like. Is it a shark? Is it a fish? 
Is it a fish that looks like a shark? Or a shark that looks like a fish? I just want to know how it tastes. Do you know something? Grim? And especially luscious? You would love this. It tastes like chicken. I'm going to save you a little piece. But it's really good. See, it's it's not chewy, but it's got a lot of flavor and there's a lot to have. It's not, it doesn't like fall apart in your mouth or like, you know, melt or anything like that. You got to kind of work it a little bit. Not like hard, but or I'm saying, not too chewy, but it's nice. And the flavor is delicious. Absolutely wonderful. I wasn't expecting that. All right, we're going to try the orange chicken. That's good. One thing that I never can stand, ever I get anything from a, a Chinese restaurant, is when you get the soggy chicken. It drives me crazy. This is nice, lightly crispy. The flavor is coming through. The stuff apparently here, it's so busy. Nothing's ever out for too long, so it's always fresh. It's always delicious. This, fantastic, not too spicy. You get a little bit of a kick, nothing too crazy. Now we're gonna go to the sesame chicken, since it's like kind of in the same family here. Very good, same type of situation. A little crispy, not overbearing on the sauce. Very, very delicious. I give it an A+. Plus. I gotta find the General Tso's chicken next. Right here, we got some of these Korean noodles. Now, they remind me a lot about like angel hair, a little bit thicker, but they have that kind of, you can see kind of through them. And uh, whatever it is that they're seasoned with, it took on that color a little bit. That's what I'm thinking, so here's nothing. Mm. It's refreshing. Cool. Very tasty. Very light flavor, nothing too overbearing. I taste all the vegetables in there, all the carrots. A little bit of pepper, some some red pepper. This is very nice. If, if you're looking for like a salad substitute and to get a little bit of extra carbs too, go with this, it's good. This right here, we have an Indian pancake, okay? I don't know what's inside, but I do know that the sauce is a curry sauce. Now, my mama taught me some manners. So she said you have to try everything at least once. So, Ma, I hope you're proud of me. That's very pleasing. The curry is just starting to kick in. It's a little bit spicy, not very. The pancake itself, I don't think that there's anything in here. It's just, it's just dough. That's crazy. So it's kind of like our pancakes. We just have the batter, you put it down, you make your pancake. Well, they just puff them up and then make them into these cool little shapes. I'm gonna take some more of this curry, put that right in there. And I'm going to call myself a fan of this, because I like it. Mm. See, he was telling us about the Peking duck, and he just had to make them special for us. That's why it's good to be the food hound sometimes, you know. You get some uh, wonderful delicacies, you get to try all these different awesome, awesome foods. We got some sauce. That's basically what I say anyway, it's just the sauce. Because the sauce is the boss, and I speak sauce and ease, and we're about to eat some of these. Here we go. Oh, yeah. The duck is so delicious. And this sauce just brings out the flavor, the natural flavor of the duck. I don't think they season that all that much. I think that is fantastic. Mm. Even though it was different. It might very well give a little bit of a run for the money for Danny's duck tacos right there. All right? It was delicious. Here's our friend right here. I think he's going to take our food from us.
Very spicy. Very spicy garlic and, and, and teriyaki. All right. I'm very excited for this. He's going to whip it up for us over here. Thank you. You are my god right now. Dude, look at this. Look at this. Freshly made, steaming. Mm, you can smell the garlic. You can smell the teriyaki on there. This is going to be off the hook. We're going to give this a shot. Oh. That right there? That's a lobster. Charlie loves us. I love you, Charlie. Charlie's he a said, man. He said that on the weekends, lobster is all you can eat. Okay, ready? Take the, oh my god, it just popped right out of the shell. You saw that? Look at this. <laughs> all you can eat lobster on the weekends. Oh, it tastes like delicious butter sauce on top. Oh my god. I take it back. Lobster for the win. <gasps> Lobster for the win. Right here, eight time. Now, 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 now. Oh my god. That is that is killer right there. Mm. Wow. For the win, right? Right there. Best buffet right here in Huntington on 110. Or you can eat lobster on the weekend. Seasoned with garlic, ginger. <laughs> this lobster is a beast. Arr! Once again, we've had an amazing food hound tidbit right here on Long Island in the town of Huntington. We've been eating at Best Buffet. This place is off the hook. The food is unbelievable. This is all you can eat, baby. So you got your hibachi, you got your chef special, you got your sushi, you got your amazing spread of soups, different types of Asian cuisine, dessert. Oh my God. Oh. What can I say? I'm stuffed. Talk about all you can eat. This is about all I ate. This is crazy. We can't wait to see you guys again next time. Come check out the location above, down, below, wherever it's at. And we'll see you guys next time on the next Food Hound Tidbits. This has been the most absolutely fantastic and wonderful Chinese buffet meal that I have ever had. And I want to make sure that it's so special that neither of us will forget it forever.